Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about bus bar protection for two main bus and transfer bus system. So in this figure, this is the main bus one, this is the main bus two and this is the transfer bus. Okay. Now this is a feeder bay and this is again a feeder bay and this is the bus coupler bay and this is the transfer bus bay, TBC bay that is transfer bus coupler bay. So this is the two isolator of the TBC bay. This is the 89A, this is the 89C and this is the uh, this is the 89B and this is the 89C. Now if 89A is closed and if 89C is closed and the circuit breaker is closed then this TBC bay coupled the main bus one with that of the transfer bus. Again if 89B is closed and 89C is closed and circuit breaker is closed then this TBC bay will couple with that of the main bus to with that of the transfer bus. So any of the feeder can be diverted uh, via TBC bay if uh, there is a maintenance required for this circuit breaker, either of this circuit breaker or this circuit breaker. So either incomer can be diverted to TBC bay, again outgoing one feeder can be diverted to the TBC bay. So in this video, I will discuss about bus bar protection of two main bus and one transfer bus system. Uh, now consider that uh, incomer one has been diverted to the TBC bay towards the main bus one and the incomer is uh, power is flowing from the incomer towards the main bus one and the bus coupler bay is closed and the outgoing one feeder is taking power through main bus two. Okay, so outgoing feeder one. 89B is closed and this bus coupler uh, bay is uh, 89A, 89B is closed and this circuit breaker is closed. And for this TBC, TBC coupled with the main bus one with that of the transfer bus. So isolator C, that is the 89C of the incomer one shall be closed. Again, for the TBC bay, 89A and 89C shall be closed with circuit breaker in closed condition. And for outgoing one, 89B and 89L is closed. And for bus coupler bay, 89A, 89B and circuit breaker is closed. Now apart from zone A and zone B, there is another zone that is the zone C. Zone C will be activated if 89C and TBC, 89C is activated. Okay. So in this case, as the Incomer 1 is diverted to the TBC bay, so zone 3 will be activated. Zone 3 means the protection of the TBC bay. So this will include the TBC CT and any other of the incomer or outgoing feeder CT. So the PT con CT connection is uh, simple that is, P1 is connected towards the either of the main bus or main bus 2, and P2 is connected towards the line side for the feeder. And for the TBC bay, P1 is connected towards the main bus and P2 is connected towards the TBC or transfer bus. Again, for uh, bus coupler CT, for ease of understanding, P1 is taken towards the protective bus for protection of the main bus one. So, far end CT is uh, considered for overlapping region. So here the protective object is main bus 1. So P1 is connected towards the main bus 1 side. Again for the zone B. So for zone B, this CT shall be included. That is the CT which is connected towards the main bus 1. And P1 shall be connected towards the main bus 2 side. Since the protective object is the main bus 2. Again for the TBC bay, P1 is connected towards the main bus. And P2 is connected towards the transfer bus okay and CT sorting done that is the S1 terminal and S2 is taken to the uh, all the CT circuit terminal okay now if 89C is closed and 89A is closed this CT current will be calculated in two zone that is in zone A or zone A it will be in forward direction for zone c that is for the protection of the transfer bus it will be considered as a reverse direction now if current flowing from p2 to p1 then zone a for this tbc ct will be considered at forward region 
at the same time for the zone c it will be considered as the reverse vgm so now consider that uh, load is flowing from incomer one uh, towards the outgoing one via tbc bay and bus coupler bay so 400 ampere current is flowing from p2 to p1 and for tbc bay 400 ampere current is flowing from p2 to p1 towards the main bus one and towards this ct 400 current uh, 400 ampere current is flowing from p2 to p1 again 400 current ampere ampere current flows from p1 to p2 direction and direction of the current for outgoing feeder is from p1 to p2 okay now consider for the zone a so zone a will be considered for this city and the city which is connected towards the main bus two side so for zone a 400 ampere current is flowing from p2 to p1 direction Again, for uh, this city, that is, this city is considered for the zone A, where the direction of the current is from P1 to P2. Again, if current flowing from uh, towards the bus will be considered as the forward direction for zone A and zone B. Okay. So, here the sum of these two current will be zero as the current net current, uh, which is uh, subtractive from this of the incomer current. So, zone A differential current is 0. Again, for zone B, for zone B, this city and this city will be considered. So, for zone B, here 400 ampere current is flowing from P2 to P1 direction, and here the direction of the current is from P1 to P2 direction. Again, the net current, that is the I differential current, is 0. Again, for zone C, for zone C, here incomer 1 and this TBC city will be considered. For income or one here current flowing is 400 ampere from P2 to P1. It will be considered as a forward direction. And for zone C, this current will be considered as a reverse direction. So the net current, that is the I differential current, will be zero. So under normal condition, all the differential current will be zero. Now consider that uh, Paul Tokar uh, transfer bus and the fault current is 6000 ampere. And incomer one supplied uh, this fault current that is 4000 ampere and contribution of the fault current from outgoing one is 2000 ampere. So here uh, the fault current for incomer one will flow from P2 to P1 direction towards the transfer bus. Okay. Now for the outgoing one feeder, the direction of the current uh, will be P2 to P1. Again, for bus coupler CT, here the direction of the current is P2 to P1. Again, for this city, it is P1 to P2 through, uh, through the main bus 1 and to the TBC city, it is P1 to P2 towards the fault point. So, 6000 ampere current is going to the fault point. Now, consider zone A fault current. For zone A, this city and this city will be considered. So, again, for this city, the current is flowing from P2 to P1. So, it will be considered as a forward direction for a zone A. Now, for this city, for zone A, current is flowing from P1 to P2 direction. So, it will be considered as a reverse direction. So, sum of this current is 0, that is, zone A differential current is 0. Now, for zone B, so for zone B, this current is flowing from P2 to P1 direction, and this city, the current is flowing from P1 to P2 direction. So, it is a forward direction, it is a reverse direction, net current, that is, high differential current is 0. Now for zone C, since current is flowing from P1 to P2 direction, for zone C with this city, we'll uh, calculate uh, the current as a forward direction. So again, this current will be calculated as a forward direction. So total current will be as 6000 ampere. That is zone C differential current will be 6000 ampere. It will send a trip signal to the breaker which is connected uh, by 89C status. So, here the TBC breaker will be tripped and it will isolate the fault. So, friends, if you like my video, then uh, go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Thank you for watching this video.